now i will tell you how to define the resources after after the definition of all the resources we will assign these resources to the respective activities so resources are anything that is uh, personal equipment or material that is uh, used to uh, complete the activities in order to complete the project in order to complete the task so um, first of all we should know that where we can define the resources there are two options either to go into the enterprise toolbar and then select the resources alternate way is to uh, use this toolbar uh, here you can see that resource uh, is highlighting resource name is highlighting uh, this is very frequent to be used so click here and you will enter into the resource resource window uh, on the right side you can see this plus button after clicking add uh, this button you will you are now going to add the new resource uh, new resource suppose here we are going to add uh, uh, add the uh, resource pool that is called cpm resource pool uh, here i am writing the resource id and here i am going to write the complete name so cpm resource pool so this is the heading so no need to uh, change other things uh, normally uh, there are three types of resources i will explain you in the next phase so now i am going to create uh, four headings under the cpm resource pool one is the design engineers and they will come under the resource type labor there are three types of resources so i am going to use uh, this category labor and uh, design engineers will work in the head office so i am going to consider the eight hours per day then i am going to add another uh, 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 sub uh, resource pool that is field engineers fld i am going to use the field engineers are also in the category of resource uh, uh, type labor uh, but here i am going to change uh, its working hours per day 10 out 10 per day so uh, next is the sub resource pool equipment machinery eqp mch equipment slash machinery so machinery will definitely will be using on the site you can say 10 hours per day then i will add another category or sub resource pool of material supply erection supply erection and material here um, here it will come under the category of non labor and uh, the equipment machinery will come under the category of non labor so here uh, you you should define as one per day now there, there are four uh, subgroups of CPM resource pool design engineers, field engineers, equipment, machinery, supply, action, and material. And you can see that design engineers will work in the head office, and normally uh, the working uh, uh, hours are eight per day. Field engineers and equipment machinery is on the side, so normally it is considered 10 hours per day. And supply, action, material is usually considered as one per day. So, other things you have to be uh, careful uh, go to the resource details see here uh, and, and go to the uh, details option here you can see auto compute or actuals if you want uh, that uh, uh, after entering the percentage your actuals will be automatically computed then you should check this uh, button otherwise you if you want to you you uh, enter the actual units uh, manually then you have to uncheck this one second uh, option is the calculate cost from the units if you are going to if you are assigning the cost per unit with the activity then after entering the progress you your cost can be automatically updated 
but if you want that uh, you want to enter the cost uh, manually then you should uh, uncheck this option uh, there is another option in going into the units and prices when you define the uh, resource uh, you can uh, define the price per unit here uh, uh, after uh, for example if you have a resource that is whose uh, uh, you, uh, whose price is 15 uh, 15 dollar per hour uh, when you define the uh, resource uh, re budget units 1000 it will multiply with uh, 15 and it will calculate 15000 dollars in this way you can calculate the cost from the resources now i will add the resources one by one uh, in the in the main uh, um, in the main headings like design engineers i will add by name uh, resources I will write its uh, abbreviation as or ideal this one design engineer one then i am going to define his name as ahmed and then resource type labor uh, then eight is ordered automatically coming from its main heading uh, no 25 dollars per hour rate then I will I am going to add other resources here you can see that I have defined all the name wise resources under the design engineers uh, resource pool and uh, uh, and the unit prices tab I have defined each uh, resources per hour rate uh, this uh, uh, price per unit uh, column can be shown here by adding a column uh, by going uh, here on the right click go to the column option and select the customize and here from the general tab select the price per unit take it on to the right side apply and you can see its uh, per hour rate is showing here this uh, this option you cannot amend uh, you have to define the resources here now in the same way in which we have designed and defined the design engineers i will um, define the field engineers i will add one by one uh, resource under the field engineers uh, uh, pool and uh, from this navigation key i can move the resources left or right so first uh, field engineer is fld dash one its name is adil and its resource type is labor and default uh, unit per time is 10 hours per day and uh, and the bottom you have to define the its price price per hour so uh, in the same way in which we have defined uh, um, design engineers uh, we will define the field engineers see this uh, field engineers are also defined and the rates are also as well as defined so you can also collapse this one this one now we are going to add the equipment machinery this is non labor uh, so uh, we are going to define here the two types of cranes one is 50 ton and the second one is 15 ton and the rate will be separate cr-1 is the resource id then Train one. I am mentioning its capacity here. No labor, and we are going to use ten hours per day. Here we are going to add its uh, rate per hour. So I am going to mention here rate seventy-five dollar per hour. Then I am going to define another resource. Here with the navigation key, I'm going to align it with the above one CR02 crane 02, and I'm going to mention its capacity 15 ton non labor type. And here I'm going to amend uh, it at 10 hours per day. And I'm going to mention its rate as uh, 45. Um, you can say that 40 dollars per hour. I'm not sure it's uh, uh, market rates, but I'm going to mention here. Now I'm going to tell you how to define the materials. So in the uh, resource pool of uh, supply reaction and material, I'm going to define the um, material. But here uh, I have to change the resource type. That is material. So I have to click this option yes 
uh, then uh, here you can see on the left side uh, there is a break sign appearing here uh, to uh, to uh, distinguish between three resources you can see that the with the uh, labor resource you can see the this icon uh, appearance of man and then on the uh, for the non labor resource you can see this uh, mechanical uh, mechanical type thing and on the uh, for the material you can see this uh, uh, brick so i am going to define here uh, the first material that is uh, excavation Ex uh, resource id x e x e excavation material uh, is the correct type i have to define the unit of measurement as well so here you can see that uh, there is no unit of measurement so i have to define the unit of measurement i will tell you after this um, then after this i have to amend here one per day then i have to define here the its um, rate so i am going to mention here its rate as a 15 dollar per cubic meter for to define the uh, unit of measurement to define the unit of measurement i will go into the admin admin categories here on the left side you can see at the bottom unit of measure i am going to add some unit of measurements here add i am going to define uh, uh, first of all m cube cubic meter then and four meters in this way i have defined all the required uh, unit of measurements close it then i will go again into the excavation resource and here i can uh, click on this unit of measurement button i can see all the unit of measurement appearing here so i'm going to use uh, the cubic meter in this way i will define other resources uh, of material uh, next i am going to use it as a uh, definer rcc reinforce cement concrete one ratio two ratio four then i am uh, uh, resource type will remain material and here the unit of measurement will remain again uh, uh, cubic meter and uh, one per day and here you have to use uh, some rate so i'm going to use uh, uh, 80 dollars in this way i have defined all the resources here you source pool as well so here you can uh, do right click and collapse all you can see this is the resource pool created by us for uh, our project then here you can see that uh, this is there are four categories for sub uh, resource pools and uh, in each of these uh, sub resource pool we have created the resources name wise equipment wise and material wise 